This is a Messer barbarous colony, also known as the harvester ant. This colony should have more than 2,000 individuals in the nest. They are one of those ant species that do not need frequent feeding, but you need to ensure sufficient seeds or grains are added to the nest. They can take many months to finish the seeds, and the only thing you need to do is clean up the husk that they leave behind. The amount of waste that they can produce from the seeds they eat is remarkable. It could develop into a little trash mount and potentially pose a problem if you don't clean it out regularly. It could grow to the point where it reaches the top of the nest. If you do not have a nest cover, do expect them to make an escape using the mount as a ladder. This is a single queen colony, and as you can tell, she is extremely busy ensuring her colony isn't short of workers. She moves around a lot from brood pile to brood pile, perhaps checking to see how her offspring are doing. She has trouble walking since she has been in a curled up position for long periods, and I might have startled her while she was in the middle of laying her eggs. Messer Barbarus has maroon colored head major workers, which developed very quickly from eggs. They can even be seen in the very early stage of the colony growth, and this makes the seed harvesting species a well sorted after ant. The big headed workers are very aggressive and will bite. The aggression level in Messer Barbarus usually increases as the colony size grows. It will come to a point where they are willing to attack anything that disturbs their nest. Keeping that in mind, cleaning the nest is one of the hardest things to do. You will need a portable vacuum if you want to clean the nest. You will also need to pick up the workers one by one to put them back, as it is impossible to avoid them in the nest. I find this the easiest and safest way you can handle a large colony like this. Once a while I will provide life mealworms for them, occasionally they will need the protein intake, and it is best for them to have a variety of food. In the very early stages of their colony, I did not give them any seeds, and only cut up mealworms were given. I do this because there were not many big-headed workers around to break down the hard seeds. Provide them with good quality seeds, you can tell if they are of good quality if they are clean and shiny, free from dust and other debris in the mix. They will eat all kinds of seeds. I give them bird seed mix, which has a variety of seeds in it. I do not give any sugar water or honey now, as they do not need them anymore, there is sugar content in the seeds that they eat. Another reason why I have not given them any is how they react to it. They bite, and they go for a swim in it, hence making a mess in the nest. It's best to avoid sugar water altogether if you have a large colony that doesn't have table manners. The type of nest you use will ensure the healthy growth of your colony. There is no need for substrate, as many have preferred to use it. If you must use substrate, ensure the humidity is not too high, as the seed storage area within the substrate will mold. Some seeds can even produce seedlings, sprouting due to the humidity in the substrate. Do not forget about the rule of thumb, never to provide nest spaces that they do not need. The best nests are those that can be expanded easily if more spaces are needed. You will need a very good anti-escape barrier. One thing about this species is that they don't give up easily. They will test your anti-escaped barrier until they find weaknesses in it, therefore, be sure to check vulnerability regularly. I strongly recommend powder barrier for this species, it can be easily reapplied when rubbed off. Do not apply gel, oil, Vaseline, or anything similar to those that create sticky surfaces, they are quick to pile debris on them, creating a land bridge, and walk over with ease. Messer Barbarus in particular loves colder temperatures, I personally saw the growth differences between keeping them in rooms with, and without air conditioning. They do not seem bothered if the temperature drops to 23 degrees at some point, but personally, I think the ideal temperature is at 25 degrees Celsius. That is where I see the most activity and growth. Up to this point, I have three colonies of harvester ants in my possession, and I am glad that I am able to show you this one with this short update. I hope you will continue to watch till the end of the video and enjoy viewing them as I did.
If you have any questions regarding this species, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and if you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button so that I can make more videos like this. Thank you for watching.